The level of economic and social integration that is unmatched on the world stage, Canada and the United States will forever be a model example of how to be good neighbors. Winston Churchill once said, that long Canadian frontier from the Atlantic to the Pacific Oceans, guarded only by neighborly respect and honorable obligations, is an example to every country and a pattern for the future of the world. That, my friends, is the very essence of the Canada-US relationship. I look forward to working with President Trump over the coming years to nurture and build upon this historic partnership once again it's a tremendous pleasure to be here in Washington. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll take a couple of questions. Uh, Scott Thurman. Scott. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. you just spoke about the desire to build bridges, although there are some notable and philosophical differences between yourself and Prime Minister Trudeau. I'm curious, as you move forward on issues from trade to terrorism, how do you see this relationship playing out? And are, are there any specific areas with which, during your conversations today, you each decided to perhaps alter or amend your stances already on those sensitive issues like terrorism and immigration? And Prime Minister Trudeau, uh, while only in its infancy so far, how do you see this relationship compared to that under the Obama administration? One of the things we, we spoke about uh, uh, was the fact that uh, security and immigration need to work very well together. And certainly Canada uh, has emphasized uh, security as we look uh, towards improving our immigration system and, and remaining uh, true to the values that we have. And we had a very strong and, and uh, fruitful discussion on exactly that. There's uh, plenty that we can draw on each other from. Uh, in terms of how we move forward with a, a very similar goal, which is uh, to create free, open societies uh, that keep our citizens safe. And that's certainly something that we're, uh, we're very much uh, in agreement on. Uh, Tana McCharles. Uh, Mr. President, Mr. Prime Minister, um, and Mr. Prime Minister, could you answer in English and French for us, please? Uh, a little bit of a follow-on on, on um, my American colleague's question. Uh, President Trump, you seem to suggest that Syrian refugees are a, a Trojan horse for potential terrorism, uh, while the Prime Minister hugs refugees and welcomes them with open arms. So I'd like to know, are you confident the northern border is secure? Canada has always understood that keeping Canadians safe is one of the fundamental responsibilities of any government, and that's certainly something that we're very much focused on. At the same time, we continue to pursue our policies of, of uh, openness uh, towards immigration refugees without compromising security. And uh, part of the reason we're, we have been successful in doing that over the past year, welcoming uh, uh, close to 40,000 uh, Syrian refugees, is uh, because we have been uh, coordinating with our allies, the United States and around the world, to demonstrate uh, that uh, security uh, comes uh, very, uh, very seriously to us, and that's something that we uh, that we uh, that we continue to deal with. Uh, C'est clair que uh, it is clear that if you want to have a healthy and secure society, a safe society, you have to make sure that you maintain uh, that you focus on security. And uh, we have welcomed uh, refugees from Syria. We have been very successful, but we have always taken our responsibility uh, towards security very seriously. And our allies, including the United States, understand this focus very well, and they have done so since the very beginning. Please, please. Thank you. President Trump, now that you've been in office and received an